counting down to first pitch in Baltimore. It's the Red Sox and Orioles next. From the first of what was baseball's retro ballpark movement and still one of the best going there's a look at Oriole Park here in Baltimore game number three of this new season between the Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles. Welcome into Red Sox baseball here on the show Matt Baskersian here with you alongside Eric Karros and Steve Lyons and EK let's run through what's happened so far as we wrap up this three game set. Yeah and I think right now both teams are just trying to get into the flow of the season and it's a first series you just want to get through this start getting used to playing every day hopefully come out of the gate strong. All right, Eric, Steve will join us in a moment, but first, let's get a look at the starting lineup for the visiting Boston Red Sox, as the defending champs look like this. They'll match up against an ace and a workhorse all wrapped into one, the all-star right-hander Giovanni Gallardo. Justin Pedroia will dig in here. This is toward the hole. Can Ramirez cut it off? No, he can't. It's into left for a base hit. So the Sox get a man on to start things out. And with that, let's take a look at the defense for the Orioles. It's brought to us by the folks at Majestic. If it happens in baseball, it happens in Majestic. Freddie Freeman will get his first shot here as you check out his numbers from 2013. And it's been a good start to 2014. He's got to be happy with the way he's come out of the gate swinging the bat. goes towards second and the pitch is off the catcher's glove as it rolls away and no throw as it turns out as he takes second with ease and this is all about a table setter at the top of the lineup doing his job perfectly gets on base to start the ball game now he's into second on the stolen base and they're off to a fast start here early on. A hard hit ball back up the middle. And oh man, that caught him pretty good there as it ricochets toward the third baseline. And they wind up getting the out at first, although the other runner does move up 90 feet to third. And time now to see quite where that got him. And it appeared from up here at least, and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on its drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. David Ortiz step in here with a runner at third now so maybe an important at bat here early in the ball game. Yeah I think you really need to get something out of this inning even if it's just a sacrifice fly. If you let this guy off the hook he might not even give you another chance. That one's in there three and one. Is that really the spot you want to be messing with here? shouldn't be that's a danger zone if you ask me hit hard on the ground is short only play is going to be at first so that'll go as an RBI that brings home the opening marker of the ball game that's all you got to do there put the ball on the ground use the big part of the field and that's going to get that first run home from third base. Mike Trout will get his first shot here. Couple of hits in four trips last night. Oh, 
The one two coming from Gallardo. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. Oh, sitting on that curveball as this is powered into left field for a base hit. Well, even when you keep him in the ballpark, he can be trouble. And here he's right on this pitch, and he smokes it into left field for a solid single. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in hoping to turn things around from the loss last night. He was 0 for 4 in that ball game. Runners on the move for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And he is out at second. Caught stealing to end the inning. A run on two hits in the inning for Boston. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Red Sox one and the Orioles nothing.